we are here at Phoenix's <clears throat> lab. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Does this work? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Blast, that's loud. Okay, let me go see Phineas. See what else he wants. Boy, that I'm was... I'm securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Wait, what? What are you doing? Mind the mess, sir. I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. What are you doing? Why are you in there? Why is there a pig in your... Lab. I'm not. I'm not gonna question it. I, I. I shouldn't. You. I'd clap you on the shoulder if I weren't behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist, hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Wait, what? What? Um, what's so important about these chemicals? If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. Oh, okay. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. What was that about Minister Clark? Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. You make it sound so simple. Oh, I understand it must seem impossible to you. Infiltrate Byzantium, the crown jewel of the colony. Steal a batch of rare chemicals from a heavily guarded estate. In order to do the impossible, you must first divide it into a series of smaller, less impossible tasks. So what's the plan? Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa, she's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Anything I should know about this Carmen Imagawa? You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Actually, there was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? There's some reason you're hiding behind bulletproof glass. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Got a moment to talk? Absolutely. Let's talk. Have you met my crew yet? No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. Hey there. I'd shake your hand, but you've got this glass wall situation going on. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. 
Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. Relax, they're with me. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew such as they are. You're a talented scientist after all. Our kind has always been incredibly popular. You're right. I'm doing pretty well for myself. Yes, indeed. Well done. Also, you still haven't spontaneously liquefied, which pleases me immensely. Progress. There was something else I wanted to talk to you about. What's on your mind? Um, I'll be back. Alright, gang, let's go. We are going to Byzantium to get the same chemical that actually brought me back to life. Wake me up, wake me up inside! Can't wake up, wake me up inside, save me! Anyways. Alright, on my way. I'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel. Wait, what are you Greetings talking about? From the Halcyon Parcel Service, delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of The Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. Um, what is it? It's a parcel, ma'am. No, I mean, what's the parcel? A parcel is a shipment wrapped and prepared for delivery, ma'am. I'm asking you what's inside this parcel. Opening a customer's parcel is strictly against regulations. HPS's no peaking policy guarantees that your deliveries remain confidential and HPS remains free of any liability. What if I don't want it? I am contractually obligated to deliver my cargo to the captain of the unreliable under pain of fines, imprisonment, and censure by my superiors. Then why did you ask for my permission? That's the HPS difference for you. Service with civility. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous waste disposal procedures. They did what? They dispensed three complimentary spritzes of Auntie Cleo's Citrus Squirt Air Freshener. That's the HPS touch for you, Captain Hawthorne. On behalf of HPS, I'd like to remind you that HPS is not responsible for any damage, defacement, or unseemliness to your parcel. Thank you for your patience, and please remember HPS for all of your future parcel-related needs. Um, sure thing. What? I have a mysterious package here. Okay. <gasps> oh my god, this is disgusting! What the hell am I looking at? Hawthorne, I'm forgetting this. Something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should've known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why, but something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Well, that fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's gotta be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. At least this won't be boring. Ada, what the hell is going on? Lucky Montoya owed Captain Hawthorne a considerable debt. I believe this is what humans refer to as payback. Captain, 
The message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Andros. Who was this guy, Ada? He was an old friend of Alex Hawthorne's. Lucky Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. Oh, really? I thought he lost his arm gambling. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. Only in the fourth? There are several hundred freelancers operating in Halcyon. Considering the numbers, Mr. Montoya ranked among the top percentile. This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with a pattern of fortunate circumstances. Any chance he's alive? Based on the condition of the limb, I calculate a 92.7% chance that Mr. Montoya expired from his injuries. Then we're going to be careful. Caution will be prudent, Captain. I have transferred the coordinates for Andros Manor to your navigation terminal. We can travel there when you are ready. Shit. This is insane. I I just got done with solving a murder. And now this shit lands inside my my ship, like. Hawthorne, oh, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. You know, I feel so sorry for Alex because he's dead. Lucky Montoya is not aware of that. I don't know. Should I still keep on going as Alex Hawthorne? Because at this point, I don't even want to anymore. Hmm. All right, well. I'll deal with you later. Right now, what should I do? I just got through finishing a DLC of The Last I Order. I like what you've done with the place. Kitschy collectibles are such a human inclination. Oh, thank you, Ada, with that backhanded compliment okay here's what i'm going to do i'm going to do what i originally planned to do anyway which would be the byzantium docks and then top of that roseway hold on huh I'm going to head to Byzantium, honestly. And after I'm done with this quest, then I'll go start on the Gorgon case. So let's go. We got to meet with this contact. Wow, this is the place for real? It's so dark and gloomy. Then again, we're at night, so it makes sense. Carmen, is that you? Do you mind? I'm needing someone. Yeah, Phineas sent me. Shh. No names, okay? Okay. The Phoenix is a wanted man, and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. The Phoenix? Yeah. That's my code name for... You know. Our mutual friend. What's your code name? Oh. I'm Golden Eagle. Do I have a code name? Um, yeah. I named you Cuckoo. Cuckoo? Cuckoo? No way, I'm Golden Eagle. You can be Cuckoo. That doesn't even make... Fine. Fine. This cloak and dagger stuff is nonsense, but... I agree. If everyone else gets a code name, I want one too. 
Yeah, what's hers? You can be cassowary. Ooh. That's shockingly apt. Cassowaries were a solitary bunch. But once they had a friend, they'd stick with them till the end. Oh, like you. Aggressive little creatures, too. She is. Oh, 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 can I be chicken? Because chickens will adopt any critter's baby and keep them warm. You sure you don't want to be raven or sparrowhawk? Aw. Okay, okay. Chicken it is. <laughs> anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Okay, so... How exactly did you get involved in all of this, anyway? I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh. Seems almost impossible. All of them trying to eat you, I'd wager. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. When they, di when they die off, it's a sign that something's wrong. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. Like what? For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Doesn't that seem strange to you? It does. And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. That's not right. I mean, there's a shredder at the bottom of the box, so I don't know what you'd expect to happen. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here? You have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. A regular tragedy. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? If you ask me, the suggestion box is pretty useless to begin with. I don't know how else people are supposed to complain about things they can't change. But that's not the point. If things are broken here, of all places, then I'm starting to think there ain't a hope left in this colony. Things have kept on running this long, right? Or so I used to think. The whole episode made me wonder. If they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Hmm. Well, can't you get me into the minister's estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Okay, so what can you tell me? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. House of inebriation count me the hell in maybe you could do some reconnaissance there you know swipe a key while nobody's looking that's theft not reconnaissance whatever i'm better with bird terms there's got to be a way to catch the minister someplace less protected afraid not he almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him can't say i blame him it's scary out of doors I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Looks like I've got work to do. Good hunting, Golden Eagle. Alright, ladies. It's time for us to figure out how to do this, right? Um, Somewhere upstairs we have to go? Yeah? Yep, I knew it. Let's go. Yeah, huh? 
What are your thoughts on Gorgon? It's a shame about what happened to that lucky fella. Maybe finishing what he started will help put his spirit to rest. Um, well, you've poked around the unreliable. Ever find any record of Lucky Mons Toya? Not a word. And I've been sticking my nose in every one of our stately ladies' crannies, stem to stern. Oh, law. That sounds untoward, don't it? Uh, that ain't, uh, that ain't what I meant. Point is, Captain, Mr. Hawthorne left all kinds of scribblings behind panels and under consoles, but ain't a lick of it mentioned Mr. Lucky. So whatever they got up to in the past must have been really extra secret. And lots of fun. Let me know if you find anything. Sure thing, Captain. Good talk, Provardi. And you. You know, I've been assuming this entire stay on your ship thing isn't a permanent arrangement. Part of my contract? That said, you ain't been eaten or shot to death yet. It says a lot about the stability of your future. And to be honest, I'm about sick of sleeping on bar stools. So how's about this? You keep letting me stay on that ship of yours, and I'll keep shooting at the things you point at. You know what? It sounds good to me. Outstanding. All right, she actually enjoys being in my crew. That's awesome. <laughs> Why can't something exciting happen around here for once? Nothing wrong with stability. All right, so we got Minister's Guard, and then we got the Minister Clark. Hey, you. Yeah, you. The million me? Smile. How'd you like to make it worth ten million? Kid, you got presence. Natural magnetism. Know what I mean? Um, whatever you're selling, I'm There's not buying. Those street smarts. Just the right amount of rough around the edges. Next time, we'll have you say that over the rim of a Tripistout. Product placement, baby. Listen, uh, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? I consider myself freelance. Fresh, natural talent. I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real special quality. Raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. Just tell me what you're offering. I'm making a feature. Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit. But we still need a star. And I think you got the chops. Hey, if you want an action story, you ought to haul a couple of cameras to Monarch sometime. We'll give you some damn good footage. If you survive. Unscripted chaos. Come on, who'll pay to see that? Audiences want heroes and villains just like the one standing in front of me. So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? I'm in. Terrific. We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. All right, so I'll definitely, let me see. I'll definitely do that later. Right now, I just gotta go and see how am I that supposed to get in. To be a model of the system? Not super accurate. Ugh. Decadence ain't gonna save you when beasts chew through the walls. Damn, look at you two analyzing the shit. Alright, so security see? guard. Hold on. All I gotta do is at least take some sort of a key card and I'll be right in, so. Um, hello, food service mechanical? The way you're just, um, walking menacingly. Hey, 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 stand back. You. Me? Not part of Minister Clark's personal detail. Okay. That means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. I thought it was six feet because of co. Uh, because of the, you know, COVID thing. But anyways, are you supposed to drink on the job? Of course not. <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. What's so important about guarding Minister Clark? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard 
in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. A uh, key, you say? That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. Anything you can tell me about Minister Clark? Oh, um, he's a uh, medium height with like mm -hmm. medium colored hair and mm -hmm. like kind of a medium face. Mm -hmm. Just like in his posters. Mm. You haven't met him, have you? Everyone tells me he's very private, okay? Besides, I just started. How about I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Here's your promotion. Here's to me! <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Let's have another. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, like a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Only two? You got a ways to go. Have you always been here? I didn't see you a minute ago. Let's have another. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. With your BMI, you could metabolize another. Just drink plenty of water. You sure sound like you know what you're talking about. Okay, here goes. Yeah. What is that one supposed to taste like? Purple very crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh no! Poor guy, is he okay? I just need to sit down. Yes, go ahead, sit, please. Ah! Did he just fucking die? He won't be needing any of these anymore, but don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that, I know. He basically drinked himself to death, but guess what? We're on our way to Minister Clark right now because we need to get we need to get that stuff that Phidias needs, so Um this way. What's down in the bottom line? Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. Okay. Okay, everything's looking fine so far, so... these homes fit all of Edgewater inside. and all. Yeah. I, I believe so, too. It's fucking huge. Alright, I'm about this to... This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. I'm here for Minister Clark. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. 
Sure I am. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? I didn't bring it with Typical. me. Why don't you come back when you're ready to actually make a delivery? Farewell, fucking asshole. All right, so what is plan B? I'm not sure. But you know what? I guess I'll pick up his package. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.